Hello everyone, my name is Elisa Dale and I'm with my mom here okay. doing an experiment. I know what we're going to do. We're going to see how powerful Jesus is. So what do you need? So we need a marker, tree cut papers, and uh, iodine. iodine. Papadon. Mm -hmm. And, what and else? two spoons. Two and spoons. A what else? And a glitch. And, and scotch tape. Scotch tape. And, a, and, and a three containers. A little, medium, and large. Small, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. And then put and then water halfway through. Now, we'll, before we start, we'll. Put the, the three. You yeah. get the bleach yeah. and your spoon. And your spoon. And then you're gonna put. You need your parents' help. Yeah. For guardian. So you need at least three spoons. Three spoons. One. One. It's. Uh, you need to be careful. Two. It's ouching the eye, ate. <laughs> three. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I want to say this one. Um, this one. Okay. Use this. Okay. Now you write on the first paper. You write me. Yeah, okay. Like me. me or you write me. Big one. Me. Me. This one is sin. Mm. Sin. 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 And this is Jesus. Okay, now you need to put some food. Yeah. Okay, so we we'll put scotch tape. To put it. I'm facing them. Okay. <laughs> here, Ate, here. Okay, so a little bit. I think we can put it there. Yeah. Now next. So they can see. Can they see that? Yeah. Can you see it, guys? Yeah, can you see it on the on the on the no, table? You can see it. Okay, sit down. No box. So let's begin. So okay. oh, you listen to me. You wait. Mommy will explain it to you. Okay. Okay. So do you know why Jesus Christ became human? And uh, he lived a perfect life. And then what happened? He rose. He, <laughs> no, before he rose, what happened? He, he, he died, died on, on the, the cross. cross. Why? Why that to happened? To save us from our sins? Yes. It's uh, to rescue us. Right. You're correct. To rescue us from our sins. And then rose. And then he rose back uh -huh. again. Uh -huh. And goes back to heaven yeah. with the Father. Now, this is the... Um, this yeah. is an experiment showing you how that happened and why that happened, okay? Okay. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. So in our experiment, uh, we will see God's greatest rescue, okay, to mankind. And that, uh, this one, this one that we're gonna do, it's an object lesson, meaning it's just a representation of the topic for you guys to understand and see how it happened okay so it's just a representation so in the beginning god created the world mm -hmm. but it's good now when god created the world he created the human and it's very very good now one day adam and eve disobeyed god okay so when they disobeyed God, 
you see what happened. When they disobeyed God, that's when sin entered the world. That's why we have sin so today. Yeah. So that's so sin. Is that enough for you or you want more I think darker? I need, I need a bit more dark. Okay. So you get your iodine povidone and put it in the bottle of sin. Is that enough? You want more? That's enough. Okay. Use. Use. Mix it. Now, so the Bible fire. states in Romans 3.23 that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means that all of us are sinners. Yes! Young and old, listen ate, young and old, sinners. Even a newborn baby is a sinner. Yeah, lots. Yeah, sinners. so we are all sinners. We are unclean. No one is clean and perfect from those who who are born in, uh, from Adam and Eve. So, which, those uh, those who are born in the flesh. So, we are born in the flesh. So, we are all unclean. We are all sinners. So, have you ever sinned? Yeah. So, when was the last time you sinned? Um, I don't remember. Ah, oh, what is the last sin that you remember, that you did? What's the last thing? Did you get mad? Did you get pick on? Did you get angry? I don't know. I think I, maybe with EJ. Oh wait. Yeah, with EJ. So now we take our bottle of sin. You take the bottle of sin, Ate. It's, it's and then heavy. every time, yeah, every time you make sin, like when you disobey your parents. Okay, we pour it. When you disobey your parents, when you lie, when you you don't tell the truth, you see, oh, what happened? All sin. Like when, Why when you, you yeah, there. See? So when you sin, like, uh, maybe you obey mom and dad, okay? You say, you obey mom and dad, and then, but it's not from the heart. So you're frowning, you're grumbling. That means you still disobey. Okay? Because God wants us to obey from the heart. Right? So, now, what happened to the bottle of your bottle? It, what happened uh, to you? It looks dirty. Yeah, it looks dirty. Does it look like Jesus? No. Yeah. So, this is uh, what became. Okay? Remember... Sin, big or small, is still a sin. Uh-huh. Small sin, big or big sin. Okay, so big or small, it's still a sin. That means it's not acceptable for God. Okay? Because God doesn't want, ano, doesn't accept any sin. Because He's perfect. Okay? So, sin keeps us away from God. So, when we sin, we become far away from God. Like we can, the outer space and not to, not yeah, to. It's, it's like, too far from the sun. So, it's far away, so we cannot have relationship with God. So, God is holy and perfect. He cannot sin. Huh? And that is why Jesus come, came. That's why Jesus came into this world. God the Father sacrificed His beloved Son. Who is that? Jesus! Jesus Christ for us. Jesus died uh, and before he died, he lived a perfect life. Okay? okay? That means he never disobeyed God the Father. So he always does what God the Father tells him to do. Okay? When Jesus died on the cross, he paid the penalty for our sin. Okay, so when Jesus died on the cross, He paid the penalty from our sins. And the Bible says in 1 John 1, 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So that means we just need to ask for forgiveness and repent. Repent means, do you know what repentance means? It, uh, you change? 
that's yeah that means you never want you're no longer happy in doing the bad things that you did before and you're even but then sometimes you'll gonna fall down and sin but then if you sin you'll not gonna be happy when you did that so you will gonna ask for forgiveness to jesus so okay so that is forgiveness so G- jesus will and then when you ask for forgiveness jesus will forgive us and cleanse us and he is the only way to cleanse us can you clean yourself Can you forgive yourself? No. Yes, you can forgive yourself, but you're still not clean. Yeah. Okay? So now, you get the Jesus. And clean yourself. Jesus heavy. Clean. And clean. So, you get Jesus bottle and then... And what the us? The me. What happened? What happened? It got clean off. Yeah. See? That it's clean, right? Yeah, that is amazing. So you see, and then when God cleanses us, the Holy Spirit comes in us and lives inside us. So you have a guide, the the Holy Spirit. So Jesus will cleanse us, and that when God the Father sees us, He will not see the sinner. You see, when that's why Jesus Christ died on the cross because when God the Father sees us and we ask for forgiveness to Jesus Christ. God God the Father sees look what clean or dirty clean. clean. Yeah. So the what God the Father sees is the righteousness from Jesus Christ and not the sinner, not the dirty one, not the bad things, okay? That you did, but Jesus Christ. He sees Jesus Christ in us. Okay? Now watch it. Us, but days after fight. Okay, so that is why Jesus Christ, wait, died on the cross. <laughs> diba? We can never save ourselves from God's anger unless we repent and ask for forgiveness and believe that Jesus Christ is our only one Savior. So you can take this. Take and your sin bottle and put it inside the Jesus. What do you think will happen? Well, it will happen. Ah, okay. Really? So, Jesus Christ came to this world to take away the sin of the whole world. So, this is represents the sin of the whole world. Oh, you put it inside. You see what happened. Wow, what's happening? It's still disappearing. It's disappearing, right? Yeah, it's still disappearing. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. But there's still bubbles over there. Yeah. Two. Okay. So I have three reminders. Okay. So A, B, and C. So A, B, C. We need to admit that we are sinners and ask for forgiveness. A. That's A. Do you know what B? No. You, 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 know. you guess. I don't know. Believe. Oh, why? <laughs> believe. Why did believe I what? That? What you should believe. believe. In God. Yeah, believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sin. For your sin, for my sin, for everyone's sin. Okay, and then C. What's C? Um. Choose to follow God. That means choose to obey God and live for Him. That means you're no longer living for yourself and the sin, but you're living for the only one, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, why do you think uh, this one? So, that is a scientific experiment. So, that is how Jesus rescue us and that is more than all the super heroes that we watch right yeah. he See? has all the super powers of the super heroes yeah he is. so he now the super powers of this bleach and iodine povidon what what do you think happened the why the povidon disappeared when it got to the black why i don't know okay so because Bleach contains sodium hypochlorite. 
it's an oxidizer. Oxidizer meaning when you put the bleach to the iodine povidone or vice versa, you put the iodine povidone to the bleach, it reacts. So, it, that means chemical reaction happens. And the bleach makes it the, the, the molecule or the materials in the iodine povidone becomes neutral. And that's a science fact. And it makes the color disappear. So, you know, so who is the greatest superhero? Jesus. Jesus, one and only, right? Because all of the superheroes that uh, we watch, they're all non-fiction or fiction? It's fiction. Yeah, it's so good. How about Spider-Man get out here? Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Oh no! Bye.